Hello everybody, I'm the Sonic Era, and welcome to Archercraft 1.18 edition. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start a survival world. No real reason why, I just wanna play Minecraft. And I was checking out seeds, this is not gonna be a random seed. I found this one, I really like it. I marked down some coordinates for places that I knew we would need. Like, a village. It's at negative 912 and negative 880. So... I just found this seed. It's it's really good. I like it. Done. We're going to go survival. Hard mode. I'll lock it when we're there. No cheats. No modifications to game rules. We need a gimmick for this, for this series. I think... The first weapon we should go for is a bow. Like, as early as possible, go for a maxed bow or crossbow. I'm leaning towards crossbow, but there ain't nothing wrong with a regular bow. Although I do have to admit, the crossbow, pretty cool. I mean, I really like it. So, we're gonna, we're gonna try and get a crossbow as early as possible. You know, that's a thing. Mm. Let's see here. Hmm. So the reason I chose this seed is because we start in a jungle, and I really like the jungle. I really, really like the jungle. Maybe it's because I've never really found one close to sp close to spawn or anywhere, but this world is very jungle-esque. Like, the jungle expands for, like, ever. So, needless to say, we'll never run out of jungle wood or bamboo. Yep. Uh, of course, I'm good stuck. Well, time to chop this down. So, let's see, right now my plan is this. Do a little of that. Okay, there's gravel. We'll need some gravel right off the bat. Because the village I found has no Fletcher. And we're going to need at least two gravel to get flint. Ooh, sugar cane. Always need that. So the things to get on day one, at least in my opinion, are wood, which leads to stone, and then, if possible, a village. But you always want to go for the stone tools first. That's just my, my own... Uh preference on what to get, but, you know, stone tools first, important, because wooden tools, blech. Get some coal, yeah, for smelting, that's only one piece, okay. Or, like, the first four torches. So, do this, a little of this. And then go back, get this bamboo before it despawns. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where's the tree we started chopping? Melons. Big time thing we need. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed that every farmer will buy melons for me, but if you can start a melon farm early on, that's good trading and levels from farmers. So, you always want to go for that right off. Jeez. 
Okay, I think I've lost it. It's a floating tree. Here it is. <sighs> Never leave floating trees, but the reason I left this floating tree was because I could find it easier. Okay, here we go. And we still have bamboo, so we can start a bamboo farm. Alright, that's good. Definitely want that. Alright, there we go. Why is this on a dirt? That makes no sense, but okay. Okay, and as soon as possible, we need to get sheep, and we need to get to negative 980, no, negative 912, so positive Z, that's not what we want. Negative, we want to go that direction. So we need sheep for obvious reasons. We also need jungle saplings for other obvious reasons. More jungle trees. I like jungle wood. We're gonna we're gonna do great things with jungle wood. Oak wood to a much lesser extent, but that's just because I've been building with it for like ever. I remember when it was the only wood type available in Minecraft. Like it was just planks. Like wood planks, and that was it. Oh dear. Oh, that's an oak sapling. Bam. So we have two saplings, but I'm not satisfied with that. Yes. That's the third. No, four. Okay, good. We can grow a giant tree now. I like growing giant, the giant jungles. You can get four saplings. That's a win, at least in my book. So. Oh. Can hear my sheep out in the backyard. There we go. We need, we need to eventually start farming, but not just yet. Ooh, sheep, good. Chickens, eh. Mm-hmm. There. All right, that's a bed. That is 100% a bed. Uh, okay. Now, time to go get some more stone. Or cobblestone, rather. Okay, there we go. And I think we should make our first torches. And then get this coal. <sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Lots of coal. That's good.
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright. I was afraid we'd have a lot more coal to get, but nope. Just need to go this way. The things in the backyard cannot wait until 4. It's only 3.30. We usually feed our sheep at 4. I don't know why I'm telling you that. That's literally information you will never need. But, yeah, they always start going off earlier and then at 4 because we need to be fed more. And it's like, no, you don't. Okay, the uh, village is in this direction. Way off in this direction. We're going to be traveling a while. More sheep. So eventually, at some point, I'm going to get a librarian up to master so he'll sell me name tags. Which we will use to name some sheep. If you can't tell why I want a name tag to name a sheep, look at the uh, things you can do with different name tags. Because if you name a sheep a certain name, something epic will happen. And then if you put any a name tag on any mob with a certain phrase, well, that happened. Uh, that mob will turn upside down. I mean, you just you just name it Dinner Bone, and that's it. I don't know why it's Dinner Bone, but hey, cool. So this is the seed I really like because out here we have a Badlands, and it gives us terracotta. Like this is orange stuff, but then over here, in the direction of the village is all of that. We can get light gray, yellow, red, orange, white, regular terracotta, and a bunch of just good colors to have. So that's what we're going for. That's why I wanted this seed specifically. So close to spawn and just we're gonna be we're gonna be good. Once I have an efficiency pick we'll come back and when we have maps, oh, you don't even know. Oh, jeez, I need more stone, because I need to cook this food. I'm an idiot. I'm not going down there, because sand scares me. You know, red sand, that was a that was a surprise. Like, I was like, huh, red sand. Why? But then I thought, meh, better not question it. Oh my god, I think that just went through my mind. Ooh, as soon as we... Like, if we can get, like, enough glass to make a jar, I have an idea. Alright, we're gonna need sand, a furnace, which I do not have because I'm an idiot. We're gonna need different concrete powder, and I'm gonna need a concrete... I'm gonna need to get to the end as soon as possible, defeat the Ender Dragon, and then we'll start working on a really epic redstone machine or redstone yeah it's i guess it's technically a machine but we need to we need to get to the end portal so we can make a gravity block duper which means we also need to find slime chunks nearby the village so for right now i'm going to do this Start cooking. Oh, I should have made that a smoker. Okay, you know what? We will not complain about it. And first do this. Then this. Pop of a boom. Put the rest in there and start smelting faster, but for less experience. Okay, so we need to go that direction and that direction. 
It's a lot of traveling, but it's what we need to do. So, one thing I don't like about the smoker, like, by itself, compared to a furnace, is it only gives you half the experience because it can only smelt half of what a furnace can. And, well, actually, technically not even half because it can't even smelt stone. In, or cobblestone into smooth stone. So that's a big negative also. I want the gravel. Or the flint, rather. Okay. There we go. And that's a fletching table. Alright. But, a lot of smokers, when used together to make, like, potatoes, like Mumbo in Hermitcraft Season 8, uh, can be a really good uh, source of XP. If you lock all the hoppers and stop them from collecting the potatoes, and you then you just c grab it, whatever is in the output slot, it gives you all the experience it's stored up, which is a really cool thing, because, like, if you have a bamboo farm and a cactus farm, you can get loads of green dye, number one, and number two, loads of experience, because you have to use regular furnaces for it. So you don't get the half you would normally get from, like, a smoker if you could do that. Of course, a kelp farm would do the same thing, and you could use a smoker to make it go faster. Like, that's the trade-off. Like, it's twice as fast cooking food in a smoker, but you need to smelt double the items in order to get the same amount of experience. At least I think. I think that was the discovery made by the community. But don't quote me if I'm incorrect. All I know is that's what I've heard, so I'm just passing along the information. And, uh... That's basically my take on the smoker, furnace, and blast furnace. Because the blast furnace does the same thing as the smoker. It smells only ores and only gives you half the experience that a furnace would. I need to start farming these things. This is not a little mini uh, flower forest. I need to find flower forest in this, in this world. That's what I have to do. Now what we need to do? Okay, let's see. Seed. Okay, it is the one that I have copied over. Let's see. Uh, go to the Minecraft Biome Finder app. And let's compare... Yep, exact same. Okay, so this is the one we want. This is the world we need to, or I wanted to play in. It's the one I, I found. I loaded up a random world and looked around spawn on the Biome Finder app to see what kind of biomes were around, and immediately tossed into the jungle biome, I was like, looking good. And then I saw the Mesa, so I went and found it and explored it, and, well, you don't even know how awesome it was. Because I love the the Badlands Mesa biome because of the stained terracotta. <gasps> That's a bamboo something. Oh, I went way too far. That's a bamboo jungle. Okay, I want to go over here. Ah, there it is. Okay, found it. And there's a bamboo jungle right over here? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, okay, not too big, but big enough. Like your dad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm not Luke the Notable, I cannot say those things. Oh well. I said it, I apologize. And I'm sure your mother is very happy with your father. 
because real relationships aren't about that, it's about the love between the, the two. Okay, uh, ooh, that is, uh, beetroot. Okay, no. Carrot, carrot. Okay, potato, carrot. I need to start a small farm, and we will, I guess, take this. Okay, good. I will replant all of these in time. I just need to start a, uh, little farm. Right over here. Because there's a water source here. Alright, so... I mean... Do we want to steal one of these houses or build our own? I think we want to build our own. Which means I need to go get some building materials, and first... I need to build me a little... area. So let's just go up here, take down this acacia, and... I was going through some block pallets, and I think for the pillar block, we will go for stripped acacia logs. And for the regular walls, I think we'll do a um, jungle planks. So I'm gonna just build me a little area, fence it off, and I will be right back. Boom, we have a little base. Nothing fancy, just something. Keep us safe. I started the, I started the farm. Villagers are out here, don't know why. Make one a Fletcher. Make as many sticks as possible. With acacia wood. Let's give someone the job. Let them pathfind do it or something. Let's just put it in here. Whoever comes for the job is our new sucker. We also want to block them all into their houses, so... Take cobblestone. No, we'll just use the dirt. You're our new sucker. So the Fletchers will sell us... Uh... What's it called? Crossbows. At level 3. And then unenchanted stuff. No, unenchanted at level 3. And then master level will be the guy that sells us the enchanted stuff. So where's the bell? I hear the bell. Get back in there. Ugh, I give up. As long as I have two, we're fine. We'll lock the rest of them in their houses tonight. Because it'll be easier then. Eh, can't sell any more sticks. So, let's see, here we go. And that, and that. And that. Okay, okay, okay. And... Sort this out. Okay, we need the sugar cane. Because we need to... Start a paper farm. 
for books and such. Then we should probably start farming sheep. Hmm. What's in here? Ooh, bread. And sticks. Alright, let's go harvest this. Get some wheat to throw at the sheep. Oh wait, I don't have any place to fence the sheep in. <sighs> I mean, I could just make a sheep crusher. Get lots of wool and mutton. But I could also do the same thing with cows. So I think we'll do the same thing with cows. Alright, cow crusher. First off. Okay, here we go. Look, make a hole for the cows, and we'll put it, like, over here. Now, where are some cows? Need to find... the big brown things. That drop leather and raw beef. Okay, I also need to set up one of these. One of those. Also, do this. You want the most wheat because you don't, you aren't able to fortune it with a fortune pickaxe. So that's the big issue I take with wheat. Meow. He's so cute. need this for charcoal so I can make more torches because I don't want things spawning around my farm so when I go to harvest it I'm not being bombarded by zombies and skeletons and creepers trying to explode shoot and eat me what did I just say I was doing and y'all let me walk away shame on y'all Anyway, I'm just going to end the episode here because we've done a lot. So I will get cows next episode. You will go mining for iron or something, maybe. But I need torches. So thank you very so much for watching. Why is there a villager there? This was a lot of fun. And just remember, I will see you with my red hair in the next video. Bye-bye!